With the close of the season one of Boba Fett, I thought it would be fun to take a look at two of the ships that we saw in the series. Boba Fett's Fire Spray Gunship, or Slave One, and Mando's new ride. Join me inside today as we print just that. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are looking at the Fire Spray Gunship, which used to be formerly known as Slave One, which Disney is trying to change. Hmm, I don't know about that, but we're gonna basically print the nice. It's basic, but what you can do with the paint is gonna be a lot of fun. So that's the final product, but we'll print this one in two ways. We'll also print the one in pieces. So that way you can have the wings articulate and all kinds of stuff and even the guns will move on this one. So we're gonna print both of those at the same time, which will be a lot of fun. But also, we're gonna take a look at the model of Mando's new ride. So this one is off. It still needs a bit of cleaning, but we're ready for paint. The only thing I didn't like was, for my print, this last spire kind of got a little scraggly, but nothing that can't be fixed. So if you wanna see me fix it, Join me on the Tuesday night stream, so don't forget those are out there. So those are what we're endeavoring to do. Of course, we're going to go find these out on Thingiverse. I'll show you guys where to get the models. Then we'll take it into Kira. We'll get them sliced up. Then you guys will see the actual print and the final products. So get a close up on those. Those are as they have come off the printer and off the raft and just slightly assembled. I have not done really any finishing work to them. So <laughs> a lot going on there. I've just removed the supports to show you. If you guys want to see them, like I said, every Tuesday night at 8.15 Central Standard Time, I do a stream. You probably will see those and other models on there, so definitely come and join us. And if you're new here and you like this content and you haven't hit that subscribe button, come on, join the crew. You know you want to. Uh, where we talk about all kinds of 3D printing, models, painting, the hobby. So definitely make sure you join us if you like what you see in the video today because there are a ton of other videos out there to kind of join and see. And also, if you can, hit that like button for me and leave a comment, even if you just say hi. It helps out the algorithm and helps us get out to more people. So appreciate it, guys. So let's hop over to that computer. Okay, guys, so we're over at the computer. And like I said, we're doing two for one today because uh, we're doing two models with the closure of Boba Fett. And the first one I want to show you that I found was really cool was this updated model of Mando's new Naboo fighter. Um, it's got a lot of the perks to it. It's a really good print. The only part that I had a problem with printing with this one was this back spire. Uh, did not print cleanly for me. But I did blow up the model quite a bit. I did use an Ender 3 to print this one, and it's quite small. The only detraction to this model is the peg down here. But if you play Star Wars X-Wing or something, this may be a really awesome one for you. So, definitely a good model. Runcaster is the one that updated it and put it out there. So, definitely uh, a good one to look at. Link will be in the description down below um, if you're watching the video and want to go find this model. The other model I don't think of verse is this one from Hats Faltzy. Um, so, there's two variants in here. A complete full and then the one done in pieces, which you saw both. Or you will see both printed here. I print them both together this time. So I do the full one and I do the one in pieces because the one in pieces will let you have that rotation right here of his of the fins moving up and down, which is a pretty cool thing. So these are the two models that we're doing today. Um, they're relatively good models. A lot of the work on the, there is good detail on the model, but they are kind of short in some detail. So one of the things that's going to be great about these is when you come time to paint, you can put a lot of detail in the paint. So. All right, so next part is, let's hop over to Kira and get these going. All right, guys, so here's Mando's fighter. We are on a Seer 10 build plate, which actually I want to change that to the Ender 3, because that's where you will see it be printed. So pretty small, right? Now, if you're playing like the Star Wars X-Wing game, this guy is a perfect size for you. But we're trying to print it. So let's talk about how I printed it. Now, this model is being a little bit messy here. What I did was I rotated it, and this model's been updated since I did it. There's no longer the stand, which is awesome. Um, now, if you want the stand one, the file is still there on the webpage. Just make sure you download the STL. I went 
with it this way. And the reason why I did that, well, one, about 3,000, I scaled it up. I wanted a bigger toy. And then what I did was I came in here with custom supports and made sure all my contact points were well taken care of. Just like that. You can go bigger, you can go smaller, but this is how I went with it. And there's an amazing amount of detail on this model. It is actually a really cool model. So we've got it in there. We've got custom supports to make sure we build it up. Here's my print settings. I'm using super quality as the profile. Uh, 0.12 layer height, wall thickness is pretty standard. Um, so as we just kind of keep going down, everything's pretty standard. Infill, this is gonna be, especially for that back piece, considering keep your upfill up a little bit to make that more of a solid piece to give it some strength. But in all honesty, 10 is more than enough for something that's not 10,000. 10 is more than enough for a model this size. So definitely a cool thing like that. And if you're wondering about that custom, uh, custom supports mod, go check out my Cure Supports video where I tell you exactly how to go get that that one. So definitely a good, nice little simple print. And with this one again, like a lot of models, the story is in the paint on how you do it. So, you know, you can definitely just go black over the canopy or you can kind of give it a, a metallic frame and then do that. Or you could also try to do some cool stuff with it. Cut this off and put a clear dome on it and maybe have a little printed Grogu in there. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. It's, your imagination is the limit here. So, but the model basically is set like this and it's not that hard to cut these off. A little coping saw will take it right off. But we've got a lot of awesome detail, especially the secondary piece that was for the speed boost. Um, and how the, this model particularly caught my attention because of the way he did the engine design. He stepped it up. I've seen a couple of these other ones out there where the design, the engine is, were just kind of meh, low, poly, low poly. He actually put some really good detail on this model. So it's definitely one that I recommend. Um, so infill density. Uh, my temperatures are not right here. For my Ender 3, I'm using a Micro Swiss Hot in on here, so I will actually push this up to 215. And my build plate at 60 is probably fine. Um, I will fluctuate that between 50 and 60, depending on the printer. Uh, but for this little Ender 3, uh, 60 is fine. Now the trick here is I'm going to tell it to generate supports. And I'm going to generate that support at about 7, not 40. Sorry guys, I am not doing the keyboard good today. And I just clicked in a whole nother custom support we don't need. We'll get rid of him. And we'll slice this guy out. So the model is really cool. Printing at the angle kind of gives you a different way for those lines to sit in the model as well. So it can be really kind of cool how that prints out. But keep in mind, this is a thinner piece. So as it comes up to the points, you may have a little bit of frailness. So I did with mine but just kind of one of those things. It does happen, so that's all up there. Let's preview it. Relatively quick print at 300% size. You guys can see it's gonna add some supports here in the front, but not a lot of additional support was needed thanks to the custom supports we added in. So that one is ready to rock and roll, and I've got that on a skirt for some reason. <clears throat> I usually do a raft with the adhesion like that and I want those to pull together. I'll usually do a raft, a raft. There's too many different pieces touching the plate that I'd rather have it all connected instead of the printer risking knocking one little piece off and a problem. So uh, yeah, that needs to be changed to a raft, but that's neither here nor there. So let's clear this bill plate and we're gonna hop to Boba's model. All right, so Boba's ship, Slave One or the Fire Spray Gunship. I know Disney is trying to rename this and in the books it's Slave 1. So you can see here I've got two different configurations for Slave 1. This is on my CR10 build plate. Um, the ones that I printed I did pump up to 150. Eh, sometimes bigger is more fun. But you can see that they're kind of laid out very differently. So the cool thing about the one done in pieces is these wings will rotate in the socket and the guns also 
they push into a pinhole so you can angle the guns any direction you want. It makes it more of a really kind of fun toyish type model. And with that, I would recommend if you're going to have it as a toy, up your up your infill a little bit, make give it a little bit more strength. But all in all, I think I did 10% infill with this one, and it worked really really well. So, and you'll see in the time lapse, I actually this is how I did it. I did both. So it came out really well. The axle is built really well that once you would hear the two pieces together in here and the spacing is done really well within that the axle can easily move and the wings can rotate really nicely. This was a really great model, um, which is why I chose this one. Um, and even the non-moving model is gorgeous. I mean, the, de the level of detail is great. Um, it is still probably a little low, low, uh, low poly, but hey, you know what? You can do a lot when you paint this of that scar detail and different things like that. And I even had a problem with mine where it had some, um, uh, for some reason I had some low extrusion in here, created some lines like scraping in the, in the material, which is going to be really cool, honestly, when I go into paint and I can come in with some silver and some rust and just make it look like wear and tear. You know, when you throw, flew through the Geonos and asteroid belt and you know, little bitty rocks had to hit that thing. I'm sorry. These things, you know, it's not like a big navigational deflector dish from Star Trek, so shield pushing it all the way. They were in the dirt, <laughs> so stuff had to have pinged off it. So, all in all, really great model. Um, for this, I'm using my inland standard quality. I, did, um, I didn't use inland for this, but uh, here are my settings, 0.2 layer height, wall thickness. I'll scroll through here slowly. You can always pause and grab my settings. Um, that I did to print this one. Uh, I did. Oh, I did 5% infill. Sorry, I thought I did 10. 215 was my temperature. 50 for my build plate on my CR10. Works really well with my inland PLA. Uh, print speeds are all pretty standard. Um, I do enable retraction because I'm hopping over a bunch of parts, and who wants stringing? Not this guy. So definitely keep that in mind as you go. And then I did supports, and I did this down at 60 to make sure on this back model that these wings were getting supported very well. And I did add custom supports to kind of help definitely like back here, right on this piece. I wanted these pieces to build really well, so I did custom support them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and picked up some helpful tips here. Um, I am going to hop over to the time lapses now. I hope you guys enjoy watching those put together and see the final product, and I'll catch you on the other side. Alright guys, that's the print. So hopefully you guys enjoyed season one of Boba Fett, a book of Boba Fett. I did. It was really fun to watch. Um, if you haven't got out there, it's out on Disney Plus and all that kind of stuff. Definitely worth a watch. It was good. A little slow to start, but it paid off dividends in the end. Because not only that, but it was kind of person. It was Mando season 2.5 because we got the new ship, we got Grogu, we got all kinds of stuff going on in there. So, but all in all, two really good models that are really good to take in and get ready for paint. So join me as we may see these as we finish painting them and get them on the finishing block. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you haven't done so. And also, if you can, leave a like on the video. I'd appreciate it and share it with your friends. See you guys in the next video.